So I mentioned that this is disruptive completely because this got established from this very concept level. I'm ex-CIO of Max Healthcare and in 2015, we had four linear accelerators from Varian. Having worked on the floor and very closely with Dr. A.K. Anand, who is head of radiation oncology, he is here. We got to know about the difficulties that the patients were facing on the ground and the radiation oncology team was experiencing. Keeping all that in view, we defined four key objectives by working very closely with the variant team and the radiation oncology team. The first objective was to have 100% availability of the radiation oncology setup so that the cancer patients don't have to wait if the equipment is not available because of any issue, because of the, the compute fail or the storage capacity choke or any other reason actually in the, in the, in the uh, platform. The second objective was to have full patient portability so the patient can go from one hospital to the other hospital to continue with his or her treatment actually uh, within the same uh, uh, network of the healthcare delivery organization. The third objective in front of us was to have the treatment planning done by the most experienced people across the hospitals and across multiple linear accelerators to treat hundreds of patients actually the next day morning. The treatment planning to be done by the most experienced team sitting at one place centrally without needing to go across the locations. The fourth objective was to reduce the cost, to transform the financial model from CapEx into OPEX where the healthcare delivery organization would be paying on pay per use basis, not to pay upfront for the variant applications tax and for the infrastructure services. We partnered, I'm from CV Technologies, we partnered with Varian Medical Systems in 2016, finally, after blueprinting this concept that we should have this very good technology, actually we should be cloud-based and, and meeting our four objectives that I just mentioned. Further, four doctors teamed up with us, Dr. Krishna Kamandori, who is from CTSI, Cancer Treatment Services International, Dr. A.K. Anand, who's sitting here actually, head of Max Healthcare Radiation Oncology. Dr. P.K. Sharma from Fortis. Dr. Jaskaran Singh from Fortis. These four doctors worked round the clock with us actually, while we were testing, we were establishing this solution from the very concept level by connecting a linear accelerator in one of the Fortis hospitals at NADA with, with our data center. We continued with this testing to establish the solution over six months with them. And these, these four doctors actually worked round the clock with us. A bit of a plot actually for, for Dr. A.K. and Dr. P.K. Sharma is also there in the audience. So CTSI, Dr. Krishna Kamanduri, once he declared this solution as successful, he immediately signed off their 11 hospitals with us to establish this solution. Four hospitals we commissioned already, and these have been working absolutely fine since April 2017 last year for the last 15 months. It's a total hiccup free operation with very consistent high performance all across these four facilities. And keeping in view all this and being a delighted customer, they have recently signed off their Colombo hospital to be connected over a international circuit actually with the same uh, landscape to have the complete data, all data, all images of all the patients at one place in the private cloud and to continue rendering the expertise that they have been rendering actually to the four Indian hospitals through the central expert team who has been preparing all these treatment plans for these multiple facilities sitting at one place. The traditional setup which continues in most of the hospitals other than CTSI, even Max has been continuing. 
we have been requesting Dr. A.K. Nanda actually now to, to come on board with their multi-hospitals on this platform. The individualized compute, the storage, the vari vari uh, variant application stacks, the hospitals A and B are taking this example actually, not talking to each other, not integrated at all. And, and the patient data also sits in those individual hospitals separately. The data, the images, the treatment plans are done by the individual teams operating at these uh, individual hospital levels. So many difficulties, as I just mentioned actually, apart from the full availability of the equipment because of any issues, power issues, air conditioning issues, zero diviruses, capacity choke, so many difficulties actually keep on facing. Dr. Anand used to continue be in touch with me actually that how do we, how do we take it to the best levels. Apart from this, the data and the images are, are sitting individualized and, and no integration, no knowledge sharing happening across these locations. So keeping in view all this, we move to the cloud solution. You're seeing actually no more compute, storage, variant application stacks in the individual hospitals. Everything has moved up to the cloud. And, and this is a private cloud where the company is completely dedicated actually for CTSI, Cancer Treatment Services International. And for our future cl clients also, the, the equipment is going to be dedicated only without sharing the equipment with any other hospital. Just to give an example the way these 11 locations of CTSI and now Colombo being added, this is the schematic of the network actually highly available, being monitored around the clock for, for very proactive kind of monitoring and, and, and uh, capacity management. Benefits of the, of the new technology are enormous. Varian as a single window, this is the key advantage actually that the healthcare delivery organization doesn't have to struggle with multiple partners. That for application stack, they will go to Varian. For the infrastructure services, they will come to us or any other third party. You know, it's, it's a single window operation, actually, single phase for the customer. They take care of everything, actually, and back to back, we work very closely with Varian to render all these services. 100% availability of the equipment, the entire platform, including the, the, uh, the various, uh, Varian radiation oncology setup, as I just mentioned, actually, not a single problem we faced, CTSI has faced for the last 15 months. You go to Hyderabad or you go to Ludhiana, actually, the performance is consistent. That's the way, that's the level of engineering, actually, which has gone to this from our side. Our, our cloud engineering, our, our, uh, our network engineering, that's the way they have, they have established this platform. 5,000 plus treatment plans have been prepared already over the last, last 12 plus months by CTSI for these four hospitals. And in the shortest possible time, as compared with their earlier, earlier baselines, and at a very, very, very high quality level. Centralized patient data and images for all these locations. And this is going to be leading to a lot of other benefits, actually, which I'll be explaining in my subsequent slides. Standardization of the treatment protocols. They've done a lot of standardization because the team now who's responsible for preparing these treatment plans is central. Either that works out of Hyderabad and, and that is being supported by their, their super experts actually who keep operating from US. Providing expertise for multi-subspecialities. You know the subspecialities better than me actually. The single team sitting at one place actually that comprises of all these, all these experts who are preparing these uh, radiation plans for multi-specialities. Consolidation of radiation oncology and medi med medical, uh, this medical oncology setup. The complete consolidation is done by, by CTSI. The Medan Co, the complete suite from Varian again is very well integrated actually on the same landscape, giving very high level of performance and the, and the other uh, throughput related uh, aspects. Outreach Medonco clinics, they have established multiple, cl multiple clinics and those access the, the Medonco, the complete system out of the same uh, private cloud uh, based central uh, landscape.
Other benefits actually, the pillars of modern oncology we have established, or four pillars of now for CTSI, having consolidated the full setup actually into the central uh, private cloud. The first one, platform for virtual Kubernetes board. This, all, all data, all images being now at one place, this gives full readiness actually for implementing the virtual uh, tumor board solution, which is part of 360 oncology and, and CTSI has started exploring this already actually with us. The second is platform for peer-to-peer -peer knowledge sharing. A lot of knowledge sharing is enabled actually by the single platform, all data, all images, images being there, all treatment plans being there at one place actually. A lot of knowledge sharing is happening across multiple uh, CTSI locations. Flexibility to expand operations. If they acquire more hospitals, which they have been planning, they have been doing already. Colombo being the first international facility actually will be added to the existing setup, this platform in the private cloud in just five weeks time from now. Because there is no individual uh, setup required actually locally at Colombo. We are just going to be putting the international connectivity to, to, to just connect with the, this Colombo with the private cloud uh, setup. Variant applications and the cloud services on the OPEX model. As I just explained, actually, the CTSI has adopted the new financial model, which is OPEX. They have been paying as they have been using, actually. Based on the, on the capacities, those have been allocated by us. And, and for the additional locations, whenever we get these on board, actually, we, we start charging them from the date of uh, commissioning. No, no botheration actually for upgrading the variant application stack separately for the individual hospital. No struggle actually for the infrastructures. We keep on yeah, doing capacity planning also in a very proactive kind of manner. Just two, two seconds. Last slide. This explains the level of security actually, which is implemented at the HIPAA, very HIPAA level. We are monitoring all aspects of the setup actually right from moving the bottommost layer is the physical setup, the physical uh, equipment, moving up to the, the right uh, uh, top quadrant actually, that, that is the virtualization layer, the application layer, the database services. Even at the very end app application level actually, we do 24 into 7 based proactive monitoring actually so that not to allow anything to go wrong. We get to know in advance actually that something is about to fail three hours, four hours down the line. Actually, we start coordinating with Varian and CTSA ourselves. I'll, I'll be, I'll be amused to tell you actually that that not a single call has come from Varian or CTSA in a retrospective manner to us. It's all proactive monitoring actually. Rather, we go back to them actually that something is about to fail. Please let's collaborate actually to make sure that nothing goes wrong finally with CTSA. Thank you very much.